Welcome back to the channel, friends. Today we got a little project going on in our RV. As most of you have the same problem, our water pump surges and pulses and just doesn't provide a good flow of water. To fix that, we got an accumulator tank from SureFlow. We're gonna try to get that installed today. I've already cleaned out the bay, so you didn't have to see that. This, you need to clean it out anyway because it became our catch-all. So I've already got it cleaned out, ready to go. The Seaflow accumulator tank is what we're going to install. It should take care of that issue. And while we're at it, we went ahead and got a little streamer, strainer, excuse me, to strain the inlet water just to make sure it's good and clean. Some of the tools we'll need, of course, our drill, and we got the Robinson bit this time for the screws, and a brand new PEX clamp with some half inch PEX clamps itself. Anyway, so we got most everything we need. I don't know exactly what we'll need until we get that wall off of there and uh, get it checked out. So stick with us, we'll be right back. And here's what this noise sounds like outside in the bay. All right, friends, we're back in here. Don't ask me how I got in here, it wasn't pretty. But we're gonna take this wall off and see what we come up with. By the way, I had to switch to a Phillips bit because that Robinson bit just wasn't doing it and it kept slipping. So I went ahead and went back to a number two Phillips. Just as I thought, our pump is right here behind the waterworks board. And I'm actually glad to see it's a uh, Flowmax from LCI. That is a very good pump. And it already comes with a strainer, which I did not know. But we'll go ahead, go ahead and check that as well. We gotta get this water turned off. And we need to see where we're gonna mount the SureFlow. All right, now we figured it out. We've got the power off to the pump and we've drained the lines. Well, we didn't drain the lines. We relieved the pressure in the lines. So this is the inlet that has the strainer on it right here. And the flow goes this way and this is the out. So in the directions, it says to mount it with the valve, the Schrader valve pointing up. And I think just mounting it right here to this one by one piece of wood right here that's, that's holding our power converter right next to our pump is going to be the ideal place. So we'll get some screws in there. So we got it mounted. It's on rubber bushings, that's why it's floppy like this, which is perfectly fine. It should tighten up as soon as we get some hose on it. Next thing we need to do is take off the outlet hose from the pump and let it drain. I've already cracked it open here a little bit, so it's just hand tight, just to let it drain a little bit. And I got a little dish here just to catch the water. And then you're just going to wipe up the any excess. All 
All right, so what I ended up doing was the outlet from the pump actually fit here pretty nicely. Plenty of room, plenty of slack. So I, did not, I didn't have to extend this at all. So what I did is I got a half inch barb here. I'm gonna take the other half inch barb and put it on back on the pump. Now all I gotta do is cut a piece of hose to go from here to here. But first, I need to put a PEX clamp on it so we can... So these PEX clamps on this tube, or on this hose, if you've never worked with them before, they could be kind of funny. But you put your barb in there, and you pull up your, your clamp, and you just squeeze it. Like so. And that secures your barb inside of the hose. Like that. This one's gonna screw on here. <clears throat> Like so. So you don't want to kink it right here, so you want a nice big radius so you don't kink it. And I think I'm just going to make it about this size here. And you're going to take my scissors, wherever they disappear to. Cut the hose. Slide on another clamp. And then the other barb. And just repeat by clamping it on there. Like that. Screw this back on. Now we're going to clean up our tools, clean up any remaining water, and put some air in here. It comes pre-charged from the factory at 10 PSI, however I don't think 10 PSI is enough. Our pump has a cutoff, actually a cut in pressure of 35, so it says to be 2-3 to three pounds less than the cut in pressure of your pump. So I want to be at about 32, 33. Um, round in there. Um, so let me get some air, get these tools picked up, and we'll see if we got any leaks. All right, so we went and got our air tank now, courtesy of Park Service. We're going to uh, go ahead and top this off. I do have my gauge here. Make sure so we don't overfill it and, and burst that bladder in there. So let's just check and see what's in it now. Uh, next to nothing. So let's go ahead and pop some air in it. It's right at 34. It should be good, I would think. Let's give it a try. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna take up this pump off of the floor and I'm gonna use these rubber grommets that I have, again, from another project. And I'm just gonna put these little rubber grommets underneath the pump and help to isolate some of that vibration. So I don't have all the same size, which is okay. but that should help with some of the vibration on this pump transferring onto the rig.
there you have it friends another project done this is a project we've been meaning to do for for a while now and just ain't had the time to do it um, it's a pretty easy install I give it a 3 out of 10 on the difficult meter only because of the the awkward way you have to position your body to get in there to the to the hoses and to the pump so other than that I think it would only have been a 1 or a 2 um, on the difficult meter so what do you think babe? Um, I think we're gonna like it when somebody's in the front room watching TV now and somebody's in the shower you can't really hear the water pump pulsating or whatnot. Um, I think the rubber grommets under the water pump are going to help out tremendously as well. Um, I like it. Good. Just remember, friends, this is our life. You do you. Just trying to catch the water best we can. And then I hope to have enough slack to be able to do this and it's not. So I'm going to do it pretty bad. Let's see, what do we got going on here? Need another rag. And hopefully things go well. That didn't go well.